Hey everyone, it's Asha. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make one of these big, beautiful, chunky knit blankets because I've made a lot of these. I made a lot of them for Christmas presents and just presents in general. And then this is the first one I made myself and I posted on my Instagram story and everyone wanted to know how to make it, if I could do a tutorial. And I've made a couple now, so I kind of have it down really good and also know some good tricks and tips to make one. So I figured I would show you how to make one I'm, so I'm sorry if you can hear my washer in the background. It's so loud, but we're gonna make one So we're gonna go to the store get the materials for it I'm gonna tell you guys what you need really all you need is the yarn for this and then you just need your hands You don't need knitting needles or anything like that. It's a hand knit blanket Super easy to make super cozy also super fun to do in the winter time when you're stuck inside And I'm still on my college break right now So I'm just looking for things to do inside of my house And I love to make a good chunky knit blanket while I watch a movie or a TV show or whatever and also my dog loves it too you love your blankies huh <laughs> yeah so anyways this is a recent one I just made it's like this pink color there's a bunch of different colors and there's also colors that are multicolor I guess you could say I'll show you if I see any or if I end up getting one of those we'll see but we're gonna go to Joanne Fabrics. You can also go to Michael's, but the kind of yarn that I use is at Joanne's and it's like this extra big kind. I'll show you what I mean like when we get there and I'll record it a little bit and then talk about it once I actually grab it. But we're gonna go there, get the yarn, and that's pretty much all you need. So this is the size of this blanket. It's just kind of this size. So it like will perfectly cover your whole body like waist down my legs are probably a little over 30 inches long i have pretty long legs though so it's just kind of like the perfect size um but what i use to make one that's that size is i get two balls of the bernay extra thick it's called extra blanket yarn okay so it's a big ball of it, like a huge ball that has three skeins. And if you guys don't know what skeins are, if you knit or if you crochet and you get basically one ball of yarn, that's a skein. I know Michael sells the skeins separately, so you can just get them all. Um, but if you do that, you'll need six of those. And then for these, for if you buy it from Joann's like I do, and you get the extra one that has three in it, which it will say it on the package, then you only need two of those. So that's what I do. And I feel like it's maybe a couple dollars cheaper, but it's really not the big of a difference. And if you need to get them from Michael's, and you don't have a Joanne Fabrics near you, just do that instead. Whatever's easiest for you, it all ends up looking pretty much the same in the end and working out fine. You just have more balls to kind of, I don't even wanna say this. Oh, I feel like, I don't even know. Okay, I feel like a teenage boy when I just said that. Like, come on, Asha, grow up. We're gonna go to Joanne Fabrics, we're gonna get the yarn, and then we're gonna come back here and I will show you what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna try to record it the best I can, but I will explain it very good so you guys can do it. Make sure you have a good movie or TV show picked out and ready to go to make this blanket and you're ready to sit there because it definitely is time consuming. It only takes me like two hours now because I've made so many, but the first time I made it, it probably took me like three or four hours. So just be prepared, but it will be fine and it's gonna be great and you guys are gonna be so happy with it okay so let's do it okay this is the kind of yarn you need and it's the extra thick as you can see it has three balls in one and there's all types of colors at Joann's but if you get it from Michaels you just have to get three separate ones all right so we're back from Joann's now for the fun part first of all let me tell you guys about the yarn that I got I got this blue color they really didn't have that many colors but I feel like this is a cute color and matches with everything. So I got this and like I said, I got two of these. So I'm gonna show you. So I got two and I think I showed in the little videos that I took at Joann's, but it says right here, three balls. You want the ones that have three balls. And if you can't get those, you just need six because I got two, so there's three balls each, which equals six. So I have these two. And I just start out with one, and I'll show you guys exactly how I do it because obviously it's a little bit confusing at first. And there's a lot of TikTok videos on this and stuff too. This is kind of just what works for me and how I did it and how I've been doing it and like the techniques and stuff that I've learned. But what you're gonna wanna do, start it off. So you have your yarn here, I have the ball. And to start it off, I'm just gonna tie a little loop 
around this okay so i just got this right here just like a little circle see that you're just gonna tie a little knot right at the top of that because you just want to have a little you know a little knot you're gonna double tie it so that it's just one little circle like that so make sure it's really tight and good so then you have it like that okay i'm gonna go from a different angle so that you guys can really see what i'm doing here the first couple of times i made these i did them lengthwise so basically the length of my legs is what i did but i have been doing them the other way now because it's easier to do if you just want to sit on the couch otherwise you have to like sit at your table and do that but if you do it the opposite way width wise however wide you want it to be like do you want it to cover your whole you know your body and some more space or do you want it to just be really thin if you're gonna put it on a bed or something like that you just like really decide you just go and then you decide how wide you want it to be but I prefer going by the width and then you can just add on to the length because that's easier and better if you're gonna like watch TV or you know not want to sit at a table and also it hurts your back way less if you just do it like this instead so but we have our circle here right like that Basically, you're gonna take your yarn and you're just gonna take it through like this, pull it up, like you see how I'm pulling it through here? Pull it like that, through there, and then you just tighten it a little bit, like that, okay? You're gonna do it again. So you have your yarn here. It's kinda dark so you can't see, but there you have it. It's open in the middle. You're gonna take a little bit, pull it right through like that. Kind of creating like a little chain. And you want it to be decently tight. My end circle is kind of big, but you want it to be decently tight because this is going to be like basically one of the ends of your blanket. So I just kind of make it a little tight. You can do it however you want, but I found that like the more, the better it looks, the tighter it is. So you're just going to keep like pulling it through there like that. And keep doing this until you have it at kind of the width that you're going to want your blanket to be so how it's gonna go around you around the top so that's what we're gonna do <laughs> so this is how long i made mine because this is what's gonna go around me it can even be shorter than this if you want it just kind of depends but this is how long i made mine because you're measuring it like this and then we're going to add on to it which is going to create the length of it and we're just going to use the rest of the yarn that we had to add on to it so here's how this looks and now i'm going to show you how to get started for what you're going to do for the rest of the entire blanket you're going to take your big ball of yarn of course and i'm going to set this down again so i can show you this might be easier at first to do it on a table or some sort of surface um so you can really like make sure you're doing it good but you're basically gonna take you have this little end piece that you just ended off on right there you're just gonna ignore that for now okay and you're gonna take this little thing of yarn and find the outer edges of this i guess braid you could say so we have this that we just did we're not gonna touch that and we want to find the outer edge of each braid so here's one right here you're gonna take that outer edge and pull the little piece of yarn through and up and forward, just like this. Okay, so you see how it's just a little circle now? You're gonna leave it and move on to the next one. So here's your next, I guess, edge of your braid right here. We're gonna take this yarn and pull it through like a little circle. Hopefully this is making sense to you. They're just looking like little circles right now is what's, is what's gonna look like. And you can make them bigger if you want it to be less, kind of like, I guess, close together. But you're gonna keep finding those outer edges of the braid, just like the braid that's furthest away, the piece of the braid that's furthest away, you could say, I guess. And you're gonna take that yarn and pull it through. And you're just gonna have a bunch of these. So just keep going. Hope this makes sense. <laughs> Definitely a little confusing and not that under, you know, easy to understand at first for sure, but you'll get the hang of it. You will. You're going from underneath and pulling it up and through just like that. So you just want to keep 
going under and pulling up. Some of these pieces are tighter than others are, but that's okay. This is kind of the hardest part. Let's go. 8 a.m. I couldn't fall asleep again. Been overthinking all the little things I've said. I'm sleep deprived on my step. Then when you get to the end, you're just gonna wanna, you know, pull it through just like a little loop. So now that's pretty much like the trickiest part because you have to figure out all of the loops, but you're not gonna have to do that again. So don't worry about that. Um, just do your best and it'll be fine. Trust me, it'll be fine. It'll turn out great. So now what you're gonna wanna do, once you get to this end, the other end, you're gonna wanna kind of start again. So we're gonna take our yarn we're gonna ignore the little loop on the end always. You never want to start with the little loop on the end. You always wanna start with the second one. You wanna end off of this and immediately go back to the second one because if you keep going on this one, your blanket's just gonna keep getting wider and wider. That's not what you want. So, so you're gonna take your yarn and you're gonna start kneading it through the little loops that you made. So you're making more little loops, basically. But yeah, you're just gonna keep going through and pulling on every loop like this, you're gonna pull the piece of yarn through, up and through it, just like that, and making more little loops. So again, here's our next loop. You can see that hopefully, right there. Next loop, you're gonna put your fingers in it like that, take your yarn on the bottom and pull it through and out, just like that. You're gonna keep doing this over and over and this is basically how the blanket is made i prefer to keep the loops small because if you keep them small the closer wound the blanket is but if you wanted it to be a little looser or i don't know i don't even know how to say it then you could totally just do that instead but you're basically just taking the yarn and pulling through the loops and making more loops and that's just what you're gonna do. And I'll show you what to do once we get to the end. As you can see, it's starting to create a little bit of a blanket. So you're just gonna keep pulling through. Every night and I wish that I wouldn't think instead. I know the sun is up and I got- So then once you get to the end, you wanna do that little loop, just finish it off, pull it through, and then you're gonna start right back at the loop next to it. You don't wanna keep adding on to the end. You want the end is gonna kind of you see how it's kind of cornered off itself here? That's what you want, because then it'll be even. And then you're gonna go back and keep pulling the loops through, taking this, pulling it through, taking this, pulling it through. Keep feeding your yarn through there. My dog is eating one of my shoes. Just keep feeding your yarn through every loop. Try not to miss any loops or else there will be like a gap or hole or whatever in your blanket. You don't really want that, of course, but everyone makes mistakes, especially if it's your first blanket. Don't worry. Every night and I wish that I wouldn't think instead. I know the sun is up and I got things to do, but I don't think I've got the energy to Okay, then once you get to your end, you're gonna Feed it through, and then you're immediately gonna start back on the second loop. So basically, you're just gonna keep doing this. It's gonna start creating a blanket. You're gonna keep doing this. If it's easier for you to see the loops when you are sitting at a table or something, um, do that instead. Do whatever is easiest for you, like when you first start doing it. I think having different lights and stuff is a good idea too, but it'll come out great. So. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on a TV show and we're gonna keep making my blanket and I will see you guys in a couple of hours. And I go back to the dreams again But I shouldn't be sleeping when It's doing now and I'm stuck in my bed Doing now and I'm stuck in my head Cause I've been just not all on my own And I should make my way out near the end of your first fall you have the end here you have your second little thing of yarn or however many things of yarn you want to use you basically just tie them together it's really simple nothing like crazy you can cut the pieces off afterwards if you want you can really do whatever but you just tie them together make sure it's a tight knot Pull it really tight and then you just keep going. So yeah. Okay, it's the next day. I took a break from making the blanket, but we're back at it now and I'm at the end. So I wanted to show you guys what to do, 
how to finish off the blanket. So first of all, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have a decent amount of yarn left. You're not just gonna want to wait until you get to the very last bit. You wanna have at least, I would say, at least two, two strings like this at the length of your blanket because you don't want to run out of yarn. And I have a little bit more than that, I think, but it's okay because it goes quickly for this kind of finishing process part so here's how you're gonna finish off your blanket so you have your end loop here and you have this second loop here you're gonna take some yarn feed it through that second loop and then you're gonna go ahead and take the yarn that you just fed through that second loop and pull it through the first one and pull it like that okay then you're gonna do the same thing on the next one you're taking this taking the yarn through it and then you're pulling it through this loop right here so it's gonna start going in this direction and creating a pattern. So again, as you can see, I have the loop that I just made. I have this loop right here. I'm taking the yarn, pulling it through there. Now I have it there. I'm taking it, going inside of this loop like that and pulling it. So it's starting to create an end. So you're just gonna do that for the whole entire thing, pulling it through. And if you run out, I'll show you what you can do. Even though I just measured this out and thought I had the right amount, I still have a little bit to go and I only have that much left. So I'm going to show you guys what you can do. I'm just going to take this little thing. You can tie it around. I'm really just wrapping it around uh, the piece that I ended off on a couple of times just to like tuck it in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the last loop I ended off on and just feed it into just keep feeding it through without adding any new loops if that makes sense so i have this loop i'm just taking the other loops that are already there and feeding them through and it's going to get really like tight and this corner will probably be scrunched up a little bit but you have to kind of just do this in order to finish the blanket off so basically what i'm doing like i said is i'm just taking this loop and feeding the piece through without having anything left so then the blanket is finished but we still have this little loop so you can just go ahead and tuck this in a couple of times just wrapping it around here so it's really like secure but now the blanket is finished and yeah this end is a little tight because we just had to do that but the blanket is done so i'll show you guys the finished product it's definitely dark so you can't really see that good but here let's get up close you can see a little bit better now there it is kind of just the perfect length that goes all the way down to my feet and yeah that's how you make it and you can make it bigger if you use more yarn you just do the same exact process no matter how much yarn you have if you guys have any more questions or feel like i didn't explain it that good in certain parts just leave a comment down below I'll try to explain it as best as i can but i hope that that made sense and i hope you guys are able to make a really cute blanket i actually love mine so much also the first one i made these are pretty like tightly knit together the first one i made the holes and gaps were so much bigger so if that happens on yours don't worry that probably would just happen if it's your first one keep the circles as small as you can that's like my biggest tip i can give you because that's gonna really help you keep it like closely knit and everything i hope you guys are able to make your own blanket and that this all made a lot of sense i love you all so much have fun and i find it very therapeutic to do while just watching a tv show it's like knitting i just like to keep my hands busy while watching a tv show but i love you all so much and i will see you in the next video bye